Hi everyone, my name is Holly Ann Mitchell and I'm a jewelry designer and I create jewelry consisting of recycled newspaper. I love to uh, transform the headlines, crosswords, stock listings, headline photographs, comic strips, every section of the newspaper. I have so much fun transforming it into bracelets, brooches, earrings, neck pieces, cufflinks, you name it. And I've been doing it for just over 30 years and I'm at home in my workspace and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a glimpse into my creative mind, creative process. So come on in. I'll spend the first 20, 30 minutes of each morning cutting up elements of each newspaper that I want to incorporate into my jewelry and next that I just save. And I, you know, when I pick out play, um, sections of the newspaper that I'm going to use, I don't really at that moment know exactly what I'm going to do with them. I just set them aside like, oh, I'm going to save these and perhaps I'll use them in the future. One of my favorite things to do is to celebrate the contrast between headlines and comic strips. Like the expressive faces of comics sort of juxtaposing them against the um, the news headlines. I, I love to celebrate that contrast. And one of my favorite pieces to make are these neck pieces, which consist of handmade comic strip and news headline components. I take the newspaper and hand form it into beads and then I coat the beads with an acrylic finish to protect them from moisture and tearing and then I hand stitch the beads together into the form of this neck piece. This bracelet consists of comic strips and up close you can see the expressive faces, and these are Swarovski crystal and glass seed beads that are stitched on the surface, and a few gold-plated beads that are stitched on. And this is the same jewelry pattern, uh, but using crossword puzzles. So one is more colorful, obviously, than the other. This one consists of crossword puzzles with crossword puzzle solutions and crossword puzzle clues. And there are gold filled beads as well as glass seed beads that are stitched to the surface as well as Swarovski crystal beads. So again, I love to uh, celebrate the, um, what I think are the strengths of each newspaper section. So I love to make these bracelets. They're really whimsical and fun, and they really allow me to express myself creatively in a unique way. Right here is a tray that I have that has different sections of expired coupons like that I saved. Like this is the, um, these are the barcodes. Love using them because they have a textural pattern that I think is really reminiscent of um, African, uh, European culture, uh, Ivory Coast culture, um, Kente cloth. And I, and I love to uh, celebrate that in um, my jewelry, as well as the bright colors of the uh, other portions of the coupons. I also use the expiration date. Sometimes I, you know, I like to uh, celebrate the facts, the fact that, you know, the newspaper, the uh, coupons no longer are, uh, you can't redeem them anymore, but they still use them in great jewelry as far as I'm concerned. So I like to use them in my work. I hope I captured all of these aesthetic strengths of expired coupons in this pendant and these bracelets. And that's a little bit of a glimpse of my creative process and my creative mind. And I want to thank you for watching. And you can find my artwork at newspaperjewelry.com. And you can find me on Instagram at Mitchell Holly Ann. Thank you. Remember to recycle. And also remember that yesterday's newspaper is today's jewelry. Bye.